What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be finally sharing with you guys my official closet tour. This video right here has definitely been a long awaited slash highly requested one. Every single time I share something about my apartment or just, I don't know, anything apartment or home related, a lot of you guys are always like, where's the closet tour? Let me see what's inside your closet. Show me how you organize your closet. What's in your closet? So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys all things just that. I'm gonna share with you guys how I organize my closet, give you guys some tips and tricks on how you can go ahead and make your closet just look visually aesthetic as well as more organized. And then before we dive into the kind of like closet tour, I wanted to share with you guys just a handful of my personal favorite gems that I own. These five pieces right here are definitely like my holy grail items. And I thought that would be kind of a nice little, I don't know, I guess segue into the closet tour. So I'm gonna share with you guys those things first and then we'll get into the closet tour. As always, links to every single thing mentioned and worn in today's video will be in the description box down below. And yeah, I'm really excited for today's video. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and make sure you're following me over on Instagram for just more fashion and lifestyle related content. It's definitely gonna get chatty, so do what you have to do. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and just relax me for a bit. And let's get into this closet tour slash organizational tips slash my favorite holy grail pieces. All right, so as I mentioned, I have a total of five Holy Grail pieces, and this first one right here is definitely no surprise. I'm gonna be talking about this oversized Balenciaga tote bag. You guys already know what it is. When I first got this bag, I have I was literally using it nonstop, not only for work and just everyday life, but I also was styling a ton of outfits with this said tote bag right here. I love the textured leather. I like the really nice kind of foiling with the Balenciaga in the front. I like how it has a top handle strap as well as some shoulder straps right here. And not to mention, I just love the overall size of this tote bag. As you can see, it's really big. And as you guys can tell from the B-roll clips and the images, it's just such a great kind of not only outfit finisher, but it's just such a great practical accessory. As I said, I love a good tote bag. And I feel like if any of you guys are looking for one, this one right here is definitely a banger. These Bottega puddles right here also come as no surprise to you guys. I love them so much. I went ahead and picked them up in like a really nice off-white color, but these fondant slash chocolate brown ones specifically have gotten so much wear from me. Legit, as soon as I got these, I made them my whole personality. I was wearing them with every single outfit. As you guys can see from the B-roll clips as well as the reference photos, it's definitely gotten some love and it's definitely has its wear and you can kind of see it with like all the scuffs, but I feel like it's just kind of one of those things, you know, when you buy certain pieces, especially if it's expensive you definitely better get your money's worth and you better get a lot of wear out of them i can't wait for fall and winter to kind of roll back around so i can wear these along with the cream kind of off-white color that i got and yeah a lot of you guys have questions about these puddle boots right here and i always do my best to try and get back to you guys but if you guys currently have any other kind of questions about them definitely be sure to let me know in the comments below so if you guys are like me, I love not only curating my dream closet with just some amazing pieces and items and accessories and clothing and all that good stuff, but I also at the same time love to make sure that I'm getting the best possible deal on whatever it is that I'm buying as well as everything that I'm putting into my closet. As you guys saw, I just showed you a couple of my Holy Grail items. And although those said items definitely cost a pretty penny, there's definitely ways that you can kind of go ahead and make sure you're getting the best deal when it comes to your online shopping. One of those ways being using Capital one's online web browser extension much love to capital one shopping for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel the capital one shopping web browser extension is free it's super easy to use and it's just a really easy and minimal and kind of effective way to potentially get the best possible deal across so many online retailers like my personal favorites such as essence mr porter farfetch the list truly goes on and on as i mentioned the capital one shopping extension is so easy to use all all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below so you guys can go ahead and start using it you also don't have to be a capital one user to install and use the capital one shopping web browser extension the service is available to everyone whether you are a capital one customer or not and then the capital one shopping extension will let you know and notify you if there's any additional or applicable coupon codes to your purchase the capital one shopping extension has saved so many people so much money and as i mentioned in the beginning i love personal not only curating my closet and getting and buying really nice designer things but I also love an occasional discount every now and then so if you're like me 
you love fashion, you love the vibes, but you want to make sure you're getting a really good deal on whatever it is that you're buying, definitely be sure to check out the Capital One shopping extension. It's available across so many web browsers and most importantly, it's free to download. So do yourself a favor, be sure to check out and get the and start using the Capital One shopping extension. I'll go ahead and leave links in the description box down below. Much love once again to Capital One shopping for sponsoring today's video. Truly a dream come true working with them. It's like so surreal. So shout out to you guys for making it happen and let's get on to the video. Another piece that I just love so much is definitely this Jacquemus puffer right here. As you can see, nice and oversized, super puffy. When I got this jacket, this previous fall slash winter time, I was wearing this bad boy nonstop just because I feel like I've never owned a puffer jacket like this. The fit of it is so perfect. It's nice and oversized and boxy and cropped. And when I tell you this is a puffer jacket, this is legit a puffer jacket, okay? As you guys can see, like I said, nice, puffy, really big, so cozy for that said time of the year. And I just really love this puffer jacket so much, not only because it's all of the things that I already said, but I really wanna emphasize, it's really hard to find a really nice puffer jacket that not only keeps you warm, but looks really nice and aesthetic and just really looks good with other pieces to create nice fall winter outfits. And this Jacquemus puffer right here, although it was a pretty penny, definitely worth every single penny. And I styled it so many ways and that's kind of why it's such a holy grail piece for me. It's because even though, like I said, it was expensive, um, you can definitely style it up in so many ways. And so I don't think this one right here is currently available anymore, but I'll do my best to try and find some similar alternatives that I personally really like currently. Kind of going back into accessories, this second to last piece right here is definitely a personal kind of holy grail item for me. It's nothing special really. It's just a really nice well-made Balenciaga pouch. But the reason why this bag right here and this accessory piece is such a special piece to me personally is because it is the very first piece that I bought with my own money when I started doing really well here on YouTube. And I feel like years and years can go on and I will always hold on to this piece right here because it holds just so much sentimental value to me. And that's on top of it, of course, being a nice, really well-made pouch from one of my favorite brands, Balenciaga. It's just, I don't know, there's just something about it when I look at it, I really remember like all of the times that, like all of the times leading up to where I currently am right now with, you know, social media and all that stuff. And it definitely hit different when I had the money to comfortably afford something like this. And so I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. I use this for just everyday vibes. I, I throw it into my tote bag that I'm currently using um, with all of like my tech accessories. If I'm going out and I don't wanna wear a bag, I'll gravitate towards this as well. And I like the kind of textured leather with just like the really nice kind of subtle yet bold at the same time Balenciaga logo in the front. And yeah, as you guys can see, I can't stop smiling when I'm looking at this piece because it just holds such a special place in my heart. And then the last piece that I wanna share with you guys, which is definitely a holy grail item, specifically for this time of the year. These right here are actually from the women's section, but if you guys are regulars to my channel, you already know what it is and how I feel about wearing whatever it is that you wanna wear, regardless of whoever and whichever gender it was made for. Just kind of the piece alone and the piece itself is definitely a banger. It's so nice. It goes well with almost every single outfit. And it's definitely a holy grail item for me, again, for this time of the year specifically, just because I feel like it's so classic it's so timeless. I'm definitely gonna have this for years to come. And low key, there's actually a photo on my Instagram that is, I don't know if it went viral, but it's definitely getting some traction. It has almost 40,000 likes, I believe, which is definitely insane for my personal Instagram. Um, but yeah, so I guess that just goes to show how much people like these pair of sunglasses right here. It comes in white, it comes in tortoise. And as I mentioned, even though it is a women's range sunglass, it does not and it will not stop me from wearing things that i want to wear so i'll go ahead and leave these links down below and then what i'll do is i'll also leave links to just some other prada sunglasses that i personally really like that are currently in stock because i think this one specifically is out of stock but i'll go ahead and do what i can in terms of the description box with the links all right you guys so behind me is my closet my closet is divided into half so this first half right here which is like the main part this is where all of my go-to clothes is for that said period of time so currently we're in summer at the time of this filming so all of like my summer stuff and just everything that i'm gravitating towards and everything i'm wearing for that said period of time is on this side and then on the other side is where all of my overflow stuff is so that would be like my jackets my coats any shoes boots accessories things that i'm not wearing so go ahead and open up the closet and then i'll I'll walk you guys through the layout and then give you guys like some organizational tips as the video goes on. So as you guys can see, 
this is what the first side of the closet looks like. And as I mentioned, this is where I keep all of my go-to stuff. And as you can see, the way that I organized it was from sleeve length. And then I also color coordinated it within the sleeve length. Um, I tried to do my best as much as possible. Of course, it's not perfect, but I feel like it kind of works for me and how I personally gravitate towards my stuff. So just kind of a quick rundown at the top, a bunch of bags, a bunch of shoes, and just a ton of, I guess like the bigger items, which is uh, again at the top. And then of course, in the middle is where all of like my primary clothes are. Again, this is it. these are the things that I'm reaching for. These are the things that I'm just like constantly, this is essentially what I'm wearing for that set period of time. As you guys will see like in the back, um, I hang up all of my bags. It's not ideal, but of course I just live in an apartment right now. So kind of the closet situation is a little limited, but it does the job for now. And then underneath my clothes, you'll see I have some boxes. And then at the very bottom, we have this uh, dresser from Ikea, which holds all of my t-shirts, basic tees. It has like my sleeping clothes, my workout clothes, and then some overflow of like some pants, sweaters, all that good stuff. So starting at the top, as I said, this is kind of where all of the bags are. And inside that Balenciaga bag at the very top, this one right here, it actually has a bunch of other bags in it as well. And same goes for this Dogne Dover bag right here. So that's kind of a pro tip within that is not only does it look nice kind of on display, but as I mentioned, the storage is limited for the closet. So what you wanna do is you kind of wanna use your existing pieces as storage. And that's exactly what I did with these two bags right here and to the right, we just have some new in shoes, some things that I'm trying to sell. Anything that you don't necessarily want to see, you can go ahead and disguise it with more of a designer sort of shopping bag or just a nicer kind of storage solution, such as like a bin or a box, or again, a designer shopping bag. So here is just a straight shot of my closet. As you guys can see, we have all the clothes with the bags. And then if you move down, we have the boxes, as I mentioned. And then you guys can see we have the Ikea dresser right there. So I would say that my closet starts definitely right here in terms of the pieces that I'm currently gravitating towards. So as you guys can see, we kind of have like black, blue, brown for the more like heavier coats, blazers, all that stuff. And then in terms of the long sleeves, it starts from black and then it goes all the way to the lighter white. And then as I mentioned, it's going by sleeve length and by category. So this is tops, sorry. So this is jackets slash blazers, the more button up tops. And then we go into the short sleeve version. Um, as you can see, this side goes from white to dark. And that was intentional because my pants start with black. So however you want to color coordinate your closet, go ahead and do that. But I think just the action and kind of the way of color coordinating definitely makes your closet just look so much more visually appealing and that much more aesthetic and, and then obviously much more organized. So this is how I set mine up. As I said, long sleeve button up, short sleeve button ups and just shirts overall. And then we have like some vests and that kind of stuff. And then all of my pants and then right here is all of my bags hanging on two hangers. And like I said, these are the bags that I'm currently gravitating towards right now. Um, all of these bags kind of go well with all of the pieces that is up here. And then on the bottom, we just have the Ikea dressers, which again, house just the not so aesthetic stuff, as I mentioned, like basic tees, overflow of clothes, my gym stuff. And then to the left, you can see I have kind of that luggage area that's right there. So I have my check-in luggage and then another oversized tote bag, which I plan to use for travel. Yeah, overall, this is kind of what the closet looks like on this side. And I really like how it turned out. Everything has a place and everything kind of has its own little section and it's all categorized. And yeah, this setup definitely works for me. So that was kind of that for the primary side of my closet. So let's go ahead and open up the second side of the closet, which again is just more of like the overflow stuff. Again, it's currently summertime. So a lot of these pieces that is on this side is more fall winter focused. So a lot of long jackets, oversized sweaters, knits, um, excess boots, and just kind of like those kind of things. But as you guys can see, even though I'm not really tapping into this side of my closet right now, it's definitely my personal favorite side of my closet. You guys already know what it is. If you watch me time and time again, I'm, I'm just, I live in fall, winter, and that sort of style of fashion and clothing. I just feel like it's more fun. The opportunities of, you know, putting together outfits is so much better. And so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera and then give you guys a closer look. All right, so as you guys can see, this is what the closet looks like, just kind of straight on. I tried to color coordinate it in the way that I feel as though I gravitate towards my personal outfits and my jackets and my coats. As I mentioned for the 20th billion time, the closet space 
in apartments as i'm sure you guys know is limited so you have to definitely get crafty so on the left we just have some excess pillows for like our guests and stuff and then on the right it has the printer and a box for like all of my business stuff in the middle i put all of my chunky oversized knitted sweaters or any sweaters for the fall and winter because they didn't fit in my dresser from ikea so i feel like that's kind of a pro tip as well is you know you kind of just have to fit it where you can and and you necessarily don't want to hang your sweaters because it kind of makes the indents in your shoulders um it just kind of ruins the sweater so this is definitely a nice solution to that and then here is just a quick overview of a ton of the jackets that i have for fall and winter this section right here primarily is like my favorite right here all of these like earth tones is crazy as you guys saw, I talked about some of my favorite pieces um, prior to this, so you guys kind of already know I have some gems in here as well. But yeah, these are all of my, again, coats for fall and winter. And, and of course, go ahead and color coordinate your closet so that it can look like this. And then another pro tip that I have just in general is you want to make sure that all of your hangers are the same to kind of get that really nice cohesive look. So these hangers right here are just from ikea i'll go ahead and link it but you can also get it on amazon as well definitely recommend they're nice and wooden and they're nice and sturdy um so definitely perfect for oversized coats like this as well as just everyday clothes like you would have seen on the other side of my closet on the bottom we just have an overflow of some boots for the fall and winter time as well as like a couple sneakers that just didn't fit in the shoe cabinet that i have outside so i didn't mention it but all of my shoes that i wear day in and day out are outside in a shoe cabinet um, that I also got from Ikea. I'll go ahead and link that below. But the things that I have in my closet are again, especially on this side, they're just more of an overflow, things that I'm not necessarily reaching for all the time. And so as you can see, we've got a ton of boots, some Bottega Puddle vibes, got the, my classic Prada boots, lace up boots back there, those H&M chunky boots that I wear so much. And I've, you guys have seen me wear those a ton. And then to the right of it, which is next to my check-in luggage and my oversized tote bag for traveling, I have this Lululemon bag that has all of like my fitness stuff. I've been really into doing hot yoga lately. So there's like a yoga mat in there, a yoga towel, and just like a bunch of stuff for fitness. But yeah, this is kind of what the bottom looks like. And then all the way to the left, kind of tucked in in the back is just some excess business stuff. So a lot of like documents and all that stuff. All right, you guys. And that is it for my official closet tour slash organizational tips slash my holy grail items with that that's in my closet hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content like this and be sure to follow me over on instagram for more content like this whether you're looking for fashion vibes interior vibes lifestyle vibes all of the above i got it over on my instagram as well definitely be sure to check out and start using the capital one shopping extension that's available for a wide assortment of different types of web browsers such a great way to potentially save some money on some of your favorite stores such as essence mr porter farfetch and the the list goes on and on you can go ahead and find out more details with the first link in my description box down below so check that out if you're interested and yeah i'm super excited of how this video turned out hopefully you guys enjoyed it and yeah i'm just i don't know I, i'm just excited to edit this video so i gotta go ahead and start doing that so i'll see you guys in the next one peace